Hi there. Welcome to Global Forex Academy, uh, the division of the SMM Group. Learn how to trade. Welcome to our video part three of the lesson called How to Use a Meter Trader 4 or Meter Trader 5 on your phone app. And also, the same teachings apply even though you will be using uh, your Meter Trader app on your laptop or desktop, however the choice may be. So, definitely, I welcome you to Global Forex Academy. Thank you very much for joining us and welcome to all of you, our students, and also those who are learning how to trade, but they are not uh, part of our students. Uh, we believe that this video will help you to understand the basics of uh, using your Meter Trader 4 or Meter Trader 5, and also uh, these basics will help you to know how to trade, because we are going through um, you know, your trading board, your trading charts, your trading trends, uh, the positions, uh, you know, explaining what are currency pairs, what are spreads, uh, what is uh, lot size and things like that. So you will learn all of those things as a beginner in the forex market. So definitely if you don't know nothing about uh, trading stocks or, or forex trading, trading currencies or trading cryptocurrencies, uh, and trading futures, commodities, and things like that. Uh, basically, our institution called Global Forex Institute uh, or Global Forex Academy, so about that, uh, it is dedicated to, to, to helping uh, people who don't know nothing about forex trading or those who want to trade in general about the financial market. We are teaching you uh, true basics. You know, we don't teach you uh, complicated stuff. We show you that the, the, the root uh, uh, of forex trading or, or financial market trading. Okay, uh, remember video one we talked about um, how to download your Meter Trader app on your phone, uh, and I again I showed you how to uh, log in your account, and I showed you where do you add your uh, codes. You know where your codes are are located within your Meter Trader, and also I showed you the path. Uh, what are pairs, and I showed you stocks, and I showed you commodities, and I showed you CFDs on stocks and shares and things like that. And video two, remember we we left, I mean, sort of we continued the way we left on uh, spread, you know. Uh, again, I showed you what, uh, how do you calculate spreads and what are spreads, how do you know um, uh, which uh, uh, particular pair of currencies has the highest spread or the lowest spread, or how do you identify the spreads within your pair or your stock uh, or your futures or indicted uh, or your your futures. So then video three will be covering where we left off, which uh, will be concentrating on uh, charts. We'll be talking about charts. I'll be telling you uh, where to locate your chart within your meter trader 4 or your meter trader 5. And I will be telling you about the trends. I'll be showing you the technical indicators within your chart. I will show you uh, where you, or how you, like you want to identify certain price, uh, when you want to draw your support and your resistance levels, when you want to uh, add your Fibonacci and your uh, uh, you know, you want to draw and color your your charts, you know, I will show you all those steps now. So let us begin. Uh, let us go to our app. Uh, let us use Meter Trader 5. Okay, I want to use Meter Trader 5 if it will allow me to go through. Okay, uh, do you like Meter Trader 5? Yes, it's all great, but not now. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, part two, remember we talked about spread, and I explained what are spreads, okay? And then we we, we are going to jump to um, charts, okay? There they are. Thank you very much for showing me the charts. There they are. These are your charts. You know, where do you find your charts? Remember I said look down on your screen, on your phone app. Uh, if you are using your, your computer or your laptop, you will see these charts are all up there. You know, they are embedded there on your folders up there. So now, because you are using your phone, they will be uh, located down here. So next to your two arrows, the next uh, bunch of indication there is, uh, you know, those uh, symbols of, 
of candlesticks. Okay, when you click on them, they become blue, and then you are on your chart. Okay, that's how you locate your chart. So now, when you locate your chart, you are in, right? Uh, like I explained to you previously, when you look up there, you will see uh, different types of, uh, of folders indicated there as your plus sign and S and the dollar sign and two boxes. And then the other one will be your plus page. When you click that, you will be going to a page of order where you will be order, uh, ordering your sell or your buy position that side. Because I'm offline again. Remember, I'm doing these videos offline. So this button right there at the top corner on your right side is not going to be working, okay? So let us just uh, summarize, run through all those buttons up there. You click it, remember, it will uh, get you to the position where you'll be able to see your code, your charts, your trade, your history, your mailbox, your news, your message, your settings, your journal, and, and your about uh, the meta trader. And again, you can just easily scroll it backwards like this and you'll be back to your original page. And then the plus sign is you, you press it like this. This is an indication that will help you to draw your levels carefully, you know. Uh, this level here gives you prices which are hidden. You see that uh, here on your meter trade on your right side, there are prices uh, ranging from 90, 60, 30, and then 4. Between, between uh, 30, 60, and 90, remember, this uh, calculation goes like 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, just like that. So this indication here helps you to spot the numbers between the threes here, the numbers within the threes. You see that now you can easily identify where this candle closed or where this resistant uh, uh, line uh, stopped. You know, you can get the price or where this support line stopped, you can get the price. You see that? So this helps you to locate the prices within your your chart. Okay, these actually are your candlesticks. I will explain this particular box in, uh, later on. And the F5 uh, gives you. Uh, let's click on it. It gives you your indicators. Okay, on the chart that you are at. Okay, let me move first of all uh, up there, then I will come to the chart. Okay, then here are your price, are your codes. You see different types of codes. And these codes are the very same codes that you find, let me go back, these are the very same codes that you are finding here on your bottom left corner, here down here. You see the blue color down here? This thing turns to blue. These are the very same codes that you find in there. When you click the chart, you can easily use the, the dollar sign to locate all your codes. You don't need to go back there to, to, to access that screen there. You can just access uh, that screen in the current screen that you are at. Okay, you are looking at all your codes. Eh? Okay, let's go back and then here because Meter Trader Five is a little bit advanced than Meter Trader Four. What's going to happen when I click these two boxes? You are going to locate two chart frames at the same time. Okay, let me show you that. You see, I'm I'm at the chart frame now for five minutes. So if I plus new window, if I plus new window there, it will add another five minutes down there, but I can choose to go to another uh, um, uh, chart time, okay? Then how do I cancel it? I just press on it like this, and I remove it, and I'm back to normal. Did you see that? Okay, so that's that's what those boxes up there, those folders up there, they are, uh, are having inside them. So let's come to the chart, okay? Right here, you are looking at your screen. Okay, I wish I could turn my phone, rotate my phone so you can see the bigger screen, but it wouldn't be nice when you are watching your, your laptop because it will be vice versa. Okay, let's stick with the screen anyway, no problem. So now what you are looking at here, you are looking at candlesticks, okay? These things right here are called candlesticks. Uh, you are looking at the black and white boxes that have long wicks or long lines with embedded in them between up and down and the other box. Uh, the other triangles is white or, 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 or black, whatever. It is, is it a triangle? <laughs> okay, no, it's not a triangle. So now what? Then? So now what? We are looking at these boxes that have the long wings or long legs or long lines up and down. So about that. So the black ones, you see the black ones that are going up down here. The black ones here. Let me just put them straight to the corner. There. You see that within my blue indication. You see those black lines going down there. There are one, two, three, four, five of them. Those we call them 
uh, the bearish the bearish candlesticks. Those are sell candlesticks. We call them bearish candlesticks. They represent the downtrend. When you want to buy, you press a sell button when you see the black candlestick formation going down, okay? But I'm not saying that's how you trade. That's not how you trade. I'm just explaining. And then let's look for white ones that are going uh, up. Okay, yeah, there it is. Let me show you again. You see down here, you see where the uh, first uh, white candlestick is located? And it goes up, okay? You see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them before you get to the black one. And again, there are, there are those other ones again here. So this white candlesticks, we call them bullish candlesticks. Okay, we, ca we call it bullish candlesticks. And these things that you are looking at, this, uh, like I said, these boxes with these long lines between them, up and down long lines. We call them candlesticks. These are trading candlesticks. They were founded by the Chinese merchandises, uh, rice merchandises, trade of, of, of rice, the traders of rice. When they were selling their rice, their, their rice, they would determine the demand and the supply of their rice using the candlestick formation. So candlestick formation comes from the Chinese, the Chinese system of trading, okay? So then the, the Americans, they took it and they embedded it in their, in their stock trading, and later the candlesticks find their way into forex trading, currency exchange. So that's where the candlestick comes from. So you are looking at candlesticks here. This, this red line that is moving across these boxes, we call it a trend line, okay? That's your trend line. It, it, it actually traces the movement, the momentum of, of the trend, it follows the candlesticks wherever they go, it follows them. That's a trend line, okay? So, this is your chart, okay? This is your chart. You see it here? This is your chart box. And I am actually had opened the euro and the US dollar. You see up there within your chart, there's the euro, USD, and then there's the comma, and, there's, and then there's five. So, there's M and five. That M5 stands for five minutes chart, okay? So, this box, this window that I've just opened here, it is a window representing the euro and the US dollar at five minutes chart. Okay, that simply means each candlestick that you are looking at here. Okay, let me give you an example of this one here. You see uh, where the blue indication is, uh, round line is at? Okay, you see that? The euro, the US dollar, that black candlestick starts off. That one candlestick represents five minutes. And the following one is five minutes, and the following one is five minutes. All these candlesticks, one by one, one by one, they take five minutes to form. You know, they take five minutes to be created. It's like five minutes hit, one minute hit, the candlestick starts. And then the five minutes uh, uh, um, matures, that's the whole candlestick being formed. Whether it closed high, it closed low, it closed between us, the dochi, it closed whatever the system is used. That is, that is a candlestick five minute transformation. Okay? So we are having uh, different types of uh, 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 chart frames concerning time frames. Okay? So what I'm going to do, I will just click on my screen like this, and you will see a round blue circle appearing with uh, indications of M1, M5, M15, M30, H1, H4, D1. W1, MN, F, and plus, and then uh, indication of settings, and then your your triangle, your square, and your round circle. You see that? So you see that the, the M5 is, is more starkish, you know, it's more dark. That simply means I am in the chart of five minutes time frame right now. So if I press 15 like this, then my indication will go to 15 minutes chart. You see that M M5 is gone now on your screen. You are looking at M15. You see that? Let me just put this sign here so I can show you. You see here, I, I'm, 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 I'm crossing it. You see here, with this indication, I'm crossing it. I'm underlining it. You see that? You see that black uh, 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 price code is uh, sending at the line of euro. US dollar M15. I just want you to focus on that M15. Remember, we were at M5. Now we change to M15. Again, I press my screen. You see the 15 minutes is a little bit dark because we are at the 15 minute chart. Let's go to 30 minutes. I will just click 30. 
Oh, sorry, sorry, not, not one hour. Just click 30 and that's the chart of 30 minutes. Now, this simply means each candlestick took 30 minutes to form. Okay, let's go back again. You see this candlestick from up there. One, two, three, going down here. Each candlestick took 30 minutes to form. The previous chart was 15 minutes. That simply means each candlestick took 15 minutes to form. Okay, let's go to one hour. I will press it. Uh, so, why am I jumping? One hour, that's one hour there, you see it, let me just go and do this again, there it is. You see where this black line is at, this black line, where this black line is moving again, Euro and the USD, H1. That is one hour chart frame, you are in a one chart, one hour chart frame at this moment. Now that simply means each candlestick took one hour to form, from its original uh, opening time to its original closing time, it took one hour to form. Let's okay, let me go up, okay. Let's hit it again again. Four. So why why am I jumping? Four. Again each candlestick took four hours to form within this chart frame. D one. Uh D one I will, I, will, I will tell you what this uh D one stands for. Again each chart each candlestick within this chart took one day to form. That day that day stands for day, actually. That day stands for day one. Okay, let me do this again. You see it, there it is, there. D1, you see it, I've underlined it. That took one day to form. Okay, that took one day to form. Or well, let me just do this the technical way. I'm just going to take my arrow here. I'm going to turn it around. Okay, you see where my arrow is indicating there? You see that arrow there? That arrow is pointing at D1. You see that D1 there? That D1 stands for one day. One day. So that simply means all these candlesticks. You see this? Okay, let me just do this again. This is a candlestick. You see this? This is a candlestick. You see, I'm pointing at it. That candlestick took one day to fall. From the opening to the closing, okay? That candlestick took one day to form. Uh, taking it from... Okay, so I just want to edit this. Okay, there you are. Let's move to another chart frame, W. You cannot... Sorry, my material. Then I need to go back. Okay, yes. Let's do this right. Yep. Right. We are not in. Okay. So let me move that chart. Okay. Alright. So this MN stands for uh, one month. Okay. You see that MN there? This MN stands for month. So this one candlestick, as you can see here, this one candlestick, you see I'm pointing at it, this red line is pointing at this candlestick. So this one candlestick took one month to form. So you see how many candlesticks are in this chart? Can somebody count them to see that you know what is a candlestick? I'm just trying to see whether you know what is a candlestick. Let me count it for you. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this took 11 months. So you are looking at the formation of the candlestick, uh, candlesticks that took 11 months to form. MN stands for month. This is a monthly chart. Okay? You are at the, U, you are at the Euro USD monthly chart. So each candle took one month to form. So you are looking at the almost yearly chart frame in front of your eyes, okay? Uh, let's go to the weekly, okay? The weekly, there it is. So, this one candlestick took, uh, okay, so about that, let me just go a little bit more. Okay, where it is, where it is? Okay, there it is. So, this, this arrow is pointing at W1, and that a, and the bottom of it is pointing at the, at the candlestick, okay? So, each candlestick here took one week to form. So when you are counting all these candlesticks from up the one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, seven weeks, eight weeks, nine weeks, ten weeks, eleven weeks, thirteen, uh, twelve weeks, thirteen, fourteen weeks, and the rest goes on. Okay? So that's how a, a, a chart frame works. Okay? That's how a chart frame works. Okay? I just want to delete this. Get rid of this. Okay, fine. Let's go back to our one minute chart. Now, this M1 stands for one minute. So that simply means each chart here, 
all these candlesticks in my shop are white because I prefer them to be white on my meter trader fries. Okay? And they are called bullish candlesticks. They represent an uptrend. And with other traders' uh, platforms, you see these candlesticks in the green or blue color. Majority uses green or blue color. They represent uh, a trend, bullish trend. Or vice versa, the, the bearish can be blue or green in other traders' platforms, and the red can be the bullish. You know, you just choose your color. Here, there's no, there's no such a law that says you only use this color for this. You can use your color. Uh, depending on how you identify them easily. So again, that's how it is. So here we are having candlesticks uh, formations, uh, and we are having bearish candlesticks, we are having bullish candlesticks, and when the candlesticks go down in a platform, you call them uh, bearish, and that is a downtrend, that is a selling momentum, and when they go up in a white form, that is an uptrend momentum, you call them bullish and they are buying candlesticks. All right. Okay, I think we exhausted this one. Let me get out of here. All right, let me just get out of it. Now, if you want to access some of the settings within your Mesa Trader app, phone app, you want to access your chart frame, I said you just click on your screen like this. This blue circle will appear with all the indicators on it or indications or settings on it. We have exhausted the chart, the chart frame time. We have 1 minute, 5 minutes, 15, 30 minutes. We have 1 hour, we have 4 hour, we have daily, we have weekly, we have monthly. All are the chart frames that you can trade with. If you prefer to trade 1 minute chart frame, you click it. It will give you a graphic indication of a uh, window concerning your MetaTrader app on your 5 minute chart time frame you trade with it, 50 minutes the same thing applies. Now let us go through this F down here, you see this F, let me click it. The F is a window that indicates to you your indicators on the currency pair that you have chosen, on the chart frame that you have chosen. So now what happens is this, I'll be adding indicators on the 5 minute chart frame under the euro and the US dollar uh, pair currency. The main chart, you see up there the first, the first title is main chart. Now let me show, let's go back. The main chart is this one up here, you see here on the screen, this one, this one here. The blue is clicking on it, you see that, that indication is clicking on it. This is your main screen, okay? So whatever you'll be adding concerning uh, this F there up there, your main chart, your moving average, you see this one, moving average, it is red in color, okay? So I'm going to try to change it to blue so I can show you uh, where is this one. Where's my blue? I'm, I'm color blind. Man. Let me say this is blue. Is this blue here? May, oh, no, no, it's not blue. I don't think this one is blue. It's blue. Okay, this one can be blue. Yeah, probably this one is blue. Okay, you see the line up here? This line, okay, let me use my arrows again. Sorry, 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 let me go back again. I'm twisting my things. Let me use my arrow to indicate to you. You see this line here. I'm pointing at it. This line was previously red, remember? Previously I showed you it was red. Now the color has turned to blue. Let me show you again. I can change the color again. Click on it. Click on the style, the color and I can change it to green, right, there it is, it's green, then I press down, see the color change to green, this is my trend line on my main screen, okay, this is your main screen, if you want to add and minus things in your main screen, this is what you do, let's add another indicator on our main screen, remember we press the end, let's go down, let's go back, remember we press within the screen, and there comes this circle, and then we press this edge here, and that F gives us indicators on our preset new, on our preset pair currency and preset chart frame. And what we do next is we.